Mad World Age of Darkness has no problem splitting humans in two, but regarding animals the game is more caring. Since the game's tutorial on how to potty train your pet or avoid them from biting the mailman is quite lacking, we will today explore how the pet system in Mad World works. In Act 2 you will receive an egg via the pet tutorial that instantly hatches, unlike other eggs, which we'll check out in a minute. Feeding the pet, as well as taking it on your adventures, fighting monsters and gathering materials, results in you bonding with your soon-to-be mount. After reaching a certain threshold, which currently is buggy and doesn't show the progress correctly, if at all, as well as reaching a certain player level, your pet will have an exclamation mark over its head, giving you a quest with the choice to upgrade one of three stats. The quests are all done in Act 2 areas and at first start off a simple run from point A to point B, but quickly change into kill quests as well as two boss fights with elite monsters. Ten quests are required. The fifth quest gives your cup a growth spurt and the tenth finishes its transformation to a fully fleshed mount. As mentioned, the quests you take on increase one of three stat points, which influence the pet's attack power, speed or durability. This durability is essential since when you are riding on your pet it will be targeted at first which results in a sadly quite often visit to the stable keeper, treating your pet back to health. There is however currently a great way to heal your pet on your own, without the need to go back to a village, more on that at the end of the video. If you are unhappy with the stats your pet has, you can always reset the stats which randomly distribute the points and can be rerolled as many times as your bank account allows. As mentioned, the egg you will receive through the tutorial is hatching instantly, unlike other eggs you can freely obtain in the game. These eggs need a certain time to hatch, like this bluish wolf I got after finishing a side quest. Of course you can also buy pets in the game's cash shop, which will hatch instantly as fully grown mounts, so there is no need to do any growth quests. Last but not least, as promised, I found a way to heal your pet without the help of the stable keeper. This can be done by equipping a life gem and putting up a passive healing spell. The skill heals you when you're not at full health, but targets your pet when you're riding it, resulting in your pet's health getting restored. And that's it about pets. I hope this explanation as well as my small tip helped you understand the pet system better. Leave a like and subscribe for more videos on Mad World and other RPGs and have a great day or evening.